for the enterprise. Uh, we're a venture funded company. We were founded last year. We went through Y Combinator and we work with some of the most innovative companies in the world like PayPal, uh, Square, Equinix, Intercom, and many others. And we help them uh, transform how they tra uh, train their employees. And so I want to pull up a really funny quote. This actually happened yesterday. Uh, this is an actual quote from a customer I was working with. She said, the phrase LMS makes me want to barf. Anyone know what LMS is? Like my stats. Go. Yeah. Learning management system. Yeah, learning management system. So what she said, she's been in the industry for 20, 30 years. She said she's never had a good experience with an LMS. It was like her driver's test for her. And so she said, at one, I'm looking for a way to actually uh, uh, train my employees in a much uh, more effective manner. And that's where we saw an opportunity in the market. And so what I want to demo today is um, uh, how we actually reimagine the experience. And what I'll go through is an example where, let's say, a new sales rep starts at a company um, uh, here in Silicon Valley. And we're going to actually ramp that person up into the role. Um, because it's one of the most important parts of being a new employee at a company is getting trained for that role. So we'll walk through that in the demo here. So when I start the company, um, the first thing that's going to happen here is I'm actually going to uh, get a message sent to me in my tool of choice. And so this is going to be in Slack here. And so you'll see that when I push that Slack message, um, I get a nice onboarding guide that guides me through the experience uh, when I started a company. Most companies today don't do anything or might have a very uh, unorganized process. But what we do is put the entire onboarding experience under one umbrella for new employees and we help train them into their functional role. And so when I click on that link that gets uh, pushed into uh, my Slack channel, I get dropped into the sales onboarding guide. So I'm a new rep here, I get a nice welcome message, and I know exactly what I need to go through, uh, whether it's my first week or my first month or my first 90 days on the job. So for example, if I want to jump into uh, uh, my welcome message from the CEO, the CEO, a lot of our clients will actually have a uh, welcome message here as it loads um, that's pers personalized to uh, those specific reps. And so I can watch that video online here. I can see uh, uh, my CEO welcoming, welcoming me to the team. And I can even take personal notes here that will get indexed in our search index if I want to re uh, refer to that at a future time. And so as I complete these items, I mark these as complete, which gives visibility back to uh, the administrators and also the managers on how well I'm onboarding into the company. And so when you look at the outline here, we have a lot of different activities. We, when we look at uh, LMS systems today, for example, there's just a lot of content that you go through and quizzes you might have to answer. But we think about the experience as both online and also offline as well. So think of things like one-on-ones or 30, 60, 90 day reviews with your managers or shadowing calls with other customers. These are all part of the experience that you want to go through when you're onboarding at the company. So for example, what we'll also do is also provide very engaging exercises for our clients. And so let's say you're a sales rep, you have to learn the corporate pitch at the company. And so uh, instead of just saying that you know the corporate pitch or know how to actually pitch your products, we actually have our clients uh, record videos of themselves where they can actually give a corporate pitch, see how well they can do it, and then they send this around to their management team, to their mentors, to their peers for review. And so right now, if I just record myself here, uh, this will stay back into our system and our managers will get a notification that I finished uh, that pitch. And so this will upload back to the system here, uh, uh, here shortly. And so we don't just test video skills as well. Uh, what we also do is actually look at other um, exercises that are crucial for your role. So if you think about a sales rep, for example, they're spending most of their day in emails as well. And so a lot of our clients will actually have to write uh, sample emails that people can give them feedback on, on their writing skills uh, to clients. If you take that step further, we build a really cool Twilio integration as well, where you can actually call a phone number, uh, leave a voicemail, and that voicemail will get recorded into our system. And again, the managers on the sales team can review how well can the sales rep actually um, sell our product. So really interactive exercises where we want to create a very good employee experience, but at the same time provide a very good experience to administrators as well. And so I'm going to jump into the administ administration side of things 
Um, and this is where we actually provide a ton of value to teams that want to get more data and visibility into their organization's training requirements. And so I'm going to jump into the uh, administration console here. And so when I click into the admin console, I'm going to show one of my favorite parts of the product. So what we have here is a custom report builder. So this custom report builder will allow our customers to create reports in real time where you don't need to be a Tableau expert or a Redshift expert or even know how to build things like Salesforce reports. You have the ability to run these reports directly in our product to see how everybody is performing uh, in the organization. So for example, if I want to create a report that's a group-based report, I'm going to auto-filter that to all the groups within the organization. Let's say I want to look at a report uh, based off all my onboarding criteria. We'll actually update that in real time. And you can actually sort that in real time here as well. And then you can also add additional uh, parameters here for my management team to review. And so I can actually create this report, save this report, and then export this report out uh, for my uh, management team to see. And so this is one of our most uh, uh, liked features in our product because we, we have now given visibility to the managers and also the administrators that are using our product to see how well their employees are onboarding or training at their companies. And then we have a lot of other features underneath the hood. I don't have time to cover all of them, but we do things like training workflows. We have a training library. We integrate with other systems like, uh, Slack, uh, sorry, like Salesforce.com, for example. We really want to permeate where uh, new employees today are spending most of their time. And so that's where we're, we're putting in a lot of effort to make sure we're integrated with a lot of systems that are being used uh, today. So I'm going to wrap up the demo there um, and want to uh, just open up the floor to any questions that you guys might have um, about the product. Good. Uh, is this just for training or you have a different software for different departments for different tasks or how does it work? Yeah, so um, the question is, is this just for training or is this for other departments as well? Um, and so we really focus on the training spectrum. And so the training spectrum can include a lot of different things, whether that's onboarding, product updates to the entire company, uh, whether that's promotions from, let's say, junior role into a senior role. So anything where you need to walk people systematically through learning something new is where we'll focus a lot of our efforts on. And so we'll see that across a lot of different use cases, um, depending on uh, what company requirements are. Like I'll give you a great example. We work with Mixpanel to help train their employees for events. They do a lot of events, and they need to train their sales reps and their sales engineers on how to actually uh, uh, be ready for those events. And so they'll use our software to get their company ready to be able to perform during uh, the times that are on the floor. Another question. Yeah, how, go ahead. How long does it take for a, a person that is in charge of training to customize your software? Because if you have to customize for each yep. this different uh, position, I don't know how long. Yeah. yeah, that's a great question. So the question was, how long does it take to customize these trainings? You know what's funny? When we work with customers out there, like the pager duties or the levers of the world, it's not that people have a lack of content. It's actually that we see a lot of lack of organization, delivery, and reinforcement of that content. And so our ramp up time is actually extremely quick. It's about one or two hours per use case, like a major use case like onboarding or product training. And so um, it'll, it'll be, it could be that short if you have a lot of the content ready. Now, if you're an organization that hasn't even looked at content, or is just starting to look at this, and if you're a pretty young organization, that might take a little bit longer if you want to create that content, but most of the time, it's not a content issue, it's an organization issue. Thank you. Do you get questions for doing performance management, not just training and measuring the, the training? And I, I know big companies, yeah. they either build it in-house or they try to do a hacked software to, to do that task. Yeah, yeah. That's a great question. So do we get any questions around performance management? More so like, uh, 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 do we integrate with, with performance management systems? Do, or just, you, do you foresee yourself doing it? Because it's a HR-based system, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Do we foresee ourselves doing performance management? That's a really interesting question. So what we've seen for a lot of times, just the performance management market is pretty big. You've got success factors, reflective, a lot of companies out there. We're probably not going to uh, play in that space. But what a lot of companies lack is actually a very analytical approach to training data that feeds into your performance review. So when I was at Box, I remember my performance reviews, 
um, it was just pretty subjective. It was like, what did you, how did you feel like you did last quarter, right? What we want to do is be able to say, hey, this is how this person developed from a training perspective or from a development perspective. Feed that into your performance systems so you have a more objective and qualitative way, uh, which are a quantitative way to actually measure that performance um, in, a, in a very unboxed way, in a non-subjective way. So, cool. So is it this, as a, this system is a software as a service, or do you guys have any like, desktop version as well? So it's a, a SaaS service. Yeah, so the question is, is this a SaaS service or a desktop service? Uh, but right now it's a software as a service. And what about the compliance? Do you, because a lot of organizations, yep. they, you know, they only call this concern about their data. Yeah. Especially big organizations. Totally, totally. Yeah, so the question is, what, how about the data? What, how do we deal with compliance with large organizations? So, and we passed a lot of security uh, tests with some of our larger enterprises that we work with. So to give you some background, our founding team actually uh, uh, all came from Box. Uh, so we spent a lot of time on handling sensitive corporate data for large banks, large hospitals, um, in very uh, data sensitive environments. And so we just put in place a lot of the same standards that we saw. So we do encryption at rest, encryption on transfer. Uh, we do um, uh, SSO uh, within your organization or two-factor authentication if needed. So a lot of the standard uh, uh, elements that you would see common, common in major SaaS providers today will adhere to those guidelines as well. Cool. Um, Last question. Sure. Um, so I really like what you guys have there around allowing people to do the stuff practically after they learn it. Yep. Have any of your customers looked at whether the results of the training after they use your software versus before are more effective, like the salespeople actually sell better? Yeah. What have your customers found? Yeah, for sure. So the question is, what are the re what are the results been almost before and after they've used WorkRamp and also with the uh, uh, interactive exercises? So I'll give one anecdotal response there and kind of one uh, a little more quantitative. So uh, one anecdotal response, we actually had a customer I was working with where she was able to catch a really bad sales hire within his first week on the job because she saw how poorly he was responding to all the questions, the lack of effort he was giving, the lack of uh, uh, kind of understanding of the product, and they caught it really early. If you talk to a lot of managers, you almost want to catch that earlier on and get rid of that poor performer either in, in your first 90 days or else it's going to be a huge headache uh, for the company. So anecdotally speaking, we can catch a lot of that um, uh, up front. Um, and then from a, a, a more broad scale, we have a lot of customers who will survey before and after and look at control cohorts versus experiment cohorts with us. And it could be something as simple as, let's just give a survey to this control cohort, a survey to this uh, uh, cohort that went through work ramp. We'll do a lot of this in the pilots that we work with, and we'll uh, uh, nine times out of 10 always beat out um, the current process, usually because people have a pretty bad current process. Okay, thanks. Cool. All right, well thanks so much.